Yes, sir. Um, hi, Senator McCain. Uh, Lee Mario, MCTV. And Senator, I've always wondered how you can manage to stay strong on issues from immigration to the war, things that become less popular, and how you develop the ability to stand strong in the face of adversity. Uh, one, some people claim a trace of masochism in my family. <laughs> been there through a number of generations. Uh, I've been blessed at first with the ability to know the difference between what's best for this country and what isn't. When I have taken a position as I have from time to time that I know better, I have paid a price both politically and frankly in my own self-esteem. In the 2000 campaign, Many of you may not remember or care, but the fact is that I went down to South Carolina and the Confederate flag was flying over the state capitol. Uh, what I should have done is obvious. What I did do was say, well, it's, a, it's an issue to be decided by the state of South Carolina. It was an act of cowardice. I lost the, uh, the primary anyway, and afterwards I went down and apologized for my cowardice, but that wasn't relevant at the time. So I know what's best uh, for America. I, uh, I'm not always right, but on something an issue like the war or immigration, uh, and I'm sorry you had to mention it, <laughs> that, uh, that, that I have to do what I believe it is the right thing to do. And, and, and I, 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 I appreciate the fact that Americans sometimes in life on the war have the sentiment that they do, and I understand those sentiments, but I have to do and say what I think the consequences of our action might be. And if that's what the American people decide is that we pull out, and I'll do the best I can to secure our, to, to defend our nation's security in that part of the world and other parts of the world where it's threatened. Finally, um, Obviously, we are influenced by our, by our family, by our friends, by our experiences in life. And uh, a lot of times, uh, in fact, most every day I hear from one of my old uh, comrades that I was in prison with. And they're keeping an eye on me. And uh, I know that uh, what they expect of me. And uh, I am not going to let them down because they did too much for me and enabled me to be here today for me to do something that they would be was less than of the highest standards and honorable position. You know, that's the first time I've been asked that question in exactly that way. And I thank you for asking it and I'll think about it some more. And maybe if I'm asked again, I'll do a little bit better job. But thank you for asking that question. Thank you, Senator. Thank you very much.